Hey everybody, we're here today. We're going to be doing a demo on the effect of density on buoyant force. Uh, to do this demo, you're going to need a couple of items. You're going to need to have three containers. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to use beakers. And in each of these beakers, you're going to need a different substance uh, with different densities. So for today, I'm going to use just regular tap water. should have a density of about 1.05 grams per milliliters. Uh, we're going to use some vegetable oil as well. So this vegetable oil should have a density of 0.93 grams per milliliters. And then the last thing that we've got is a salt water solution. So I've mixed some salt into this uh, water and it should have a density roughly of about 1.3 grams per milliliters. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need to do this is you're going to need a spring scale. So I'm using a spring scale here that actually measures in newtons, uh, which is a measure of force. And we're also going to be uh, using a 200 gram uh, weight for this. But you can use anything if you're doing this at home. It doesn't have to be a, a specific weight. Uh, as long as you had something that you could measure how much uh, force was being pushed up by the molecules of the fluid. Uh, that's all you need for this experiment. We're going to just uh, use this uh, weight and scale in the different solutions to measure what the point of force would be. Uh, pretty simple lab, but it'll give us some pretty interesting uh, tech, uh, data from the end of it as well. So without uh, anything else, uh, we'll get started. So the way that we're gonna start is we're gonna take this spring scale and we're just gonna hook it onto our weight. And as I pull up, you'll see that the scale actually uh, changes. So in this case, we've got a, met a rating of about two decimal one, two, uh, let's call it that, two newtons. And what I'm gonna do to get started is I'm gonna put it into our regular water. So if I put this down, I can't let it touch the bottom, but if I do this and I take a look at the scale, our scale is actually reading approximately 1.7 newtons. And now what we'll do is we'll take that same mass, we're gonna place it in the beaker of salt water. And if I put it in here, I get a reading of approximately uh, looks like 1.6 newtons. And then the last thing that we'll do is we'll place this in our container of oil, our vegetable oil, and I'd like you to make a prediction here what's going to happen to our newton scale. And if I put it in here, I'm getting about 1.75 to 1.8 newtons. A little bit of bouncing happening there, but I would say 1.75 newtons. So now that we've run the lab and the experiment, you should be able to make some conclusions as to how the density affects the buoyant force. Uh, we've run something uh, as a standard with one gram per milliliter. We've run a 1.3 gram per milliliter solution in the salt water, and we've also run something lighter than water uh, in our 0.93 grams per milliliter vegetable oil. So if you look at your results from the Newton meter, you should be able to draw some, some conclusions as to what the density does to affect that point force. I'll pause here and let you make your own conclusions. Hopefully what you've discovered is that as the density decreases, so does the point force. There's less molecules there to put that upward force on the object that's placed into the fluid. Also, as the density increases, there's more molecules. That's what that higher density means. There's more molecules in the same volume. And so with extra molecules, there's more places of force to cause that buoyant force to be pushing up on the object. That's our experiment for today. Hopefully you learned something new from it. Have a good day.